Hello friends, welcome to my channel Learn HTML with Nandu Jadav. From this video, we are going to learn HTML and how we can create HTML pages by using the HTML. So let's start. First thing that is what is HTML? Actually, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. That means HTML is a marking up language. It is not a programming language. This HTML is introduced by Tim Berners-Lee in 1991, but it was published in 1995. Then, what is meant by this hypertext? Hypertext means any clickable text available on a web page is called as a hypertext. That means we can say simply text that links to other text. This hypertext term was coined by Ted Nelson in 1965. Remember. Then markup. So markup is a process of taking ordinary text and define it as a hypertext. So you can just take a normal text and apply a multimedia effects or specially linking effect to define that normal text into hypertext. This process is called as a markup process. Okay, by using this HTML, we can create interactive web pages or interactive website. But remember, by using this HTML only, we can create a static web pages or a static websites. Okay, so next one to, to create a web pages by using HTML, which softwares are required? Actually, we require two softwares. First one that is the text editor you can use any text editor the text editor available are so many text editors are available here notepad notepad plus plus sublime text atom as well as you can use adobe dream viewer is also used to edit the text so you can use any text editor and this text editor is used to type the html code when you type all the HTML code contents within the text editor, finally you need to uh, save this HTML file, this text editor file with the extension .htm or .html. So remember, the another softwares we required is a browser, that is the web browser. And uh, the available web browsers are some popular uh, web browsers are Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Mozilla Firefox, Safari, Opera. These are the some popular web browsers example. You can use any web browser uh, to display the contents. That means the web browsers, what is the actual use of web browser? This web browser display the output of HTML code that is created by using any text editor. So this text editor and web browsers are useful to create a HTML web page or HTML website and both text editors as well as web browsers are available free of cost with any platform. Next one. So how HTML code is created? First thing HTML code is created by using tags and their attributes. So what is mean by this tag? Tag is a unit of markup. We can say the tag is a unit of markup. And this tag is placed within the opening and closing angle bracket. We can also say that the HTML tags are delimited within the opening and closing angle bracket. This is the tag that is the unit of markup. Second one that is what is meant by attribute. Simply the attribute means a keyword used along with opening tag only and are used to apply extra formatting effects rather than the defaults. That means when you want to apply extra effects rather than the default that is for example suppose you want to change the background color of the body of the web page you can use the body tag with its attribute bg color. BG color stands for background color. The default background color of the web page is white. And suppose you want to change the background color of the web page to any color of our choice 
at that time you need to use the bg color attribute so this attribute or any attribute is used to apply extra formatting effects rather than the default that is the attribute the tags when you say the tag is a unit of markup there are actually two types of the tag in html first one that is the singular tag we can say that that is the empty tag also and another one that is the paired tag we can also say said as container tag okay so empty tag and container tag are the basic types of the tag in html then what is mean by the uh, empty tag so empty tag means a stand alone tag which does not have any closing tag which does not have an end tag here we can say the example br tag img tag so there are uh, uh, multiple empty tags are available in html uh, one by one sequentially when we discuss all these html tag we can see we can compare that the used tag is a container tag or empty tag so empty tag means a stand alone tag which does not have any end tag or any closing tag the second one that is the container tag this tag is available with a closing tag is similar to the opening tag but only difference is that when you close that tag you need to use opening tag but with a prefix a slash that is the backward slash so we can say that the html tag has a beginning tag and a end tag is called as a container tag we can also call as a paired tag there are so many paired tag uh, provided by html 4.0 as well as uh, our the latest version that the 5.0 so these are the types of the html tags and using these tags we uh, will design we will create our web page or web pages okay remember one thing that the all html tags and attributes are not case sensitive that means we can write body with b capital o small d capital y small anything that the, there is no any case sensitivity problem with tags and attributes when you create html code there are some basic structure there is some syntax of code that contains or any html code is Uh, placed with a specific format that base specific format is called as a basic structure of html code this basic structure of html code we will see one by one first one that is the html tag in each and every html code the first tag is a opening html tag and the last tag is a closing html tag the first html tag indicates the starting of the html page whereas the last closing html tells the browser that here the html page html code is finished and within the html tag opening and closing html tag you can place any content especially there are two main contents are placed first one that is the header section this header section contains the uh, heading all uh, information related to the documents also and specially or typically this head tag is used to hold this title tag this title tag is used to give title to the web page and when you execute this code the contents which are placed within the opening and closing title are displayed in the title bar of the browser so remember that is the title and this one is the header section the another section that are placed within the html is that is the body section the actual contents of the web pages are placed within this body tag the title is displayed in the title bar of the web browser this is not a part of the body so all the contents which are placed within the body tag that the opening body and closing body tag that are displayed as a output in our web browser so remember all things which are uh, this you which you want to display the contents are placed within the this body tag remember here four basic elements or four basic tags are used this tags are called as a basic elements because each and every uh, html code nearly uh, use these tags html head or title and body so these are the basic elements so this one called as the basic elements and all basic elements of html are paired tag that are the container tag and their closing are compulsory okay now one by one sequentially we will see uh, the tags provided by html first we will uh, start 
text formatting effect tags so text formatting effect tag there are so many uh, kinds of text formatting effect tags especially we can say the physical style tags that physical style tags are used to apply text formatting effect tag so we are going here one by one sequentially all uh, tags so first one that is the b tag this tag makes the text bold see this tag makes the text bold see here this contains this tag make the text is a normal text where the bold this word will be displayed in a bold to display the contents like this bold you need to use this b tag another one that is the i tag that is the italic tag i stands for italic and display the text in a italic format you know that is the italic format this tag display the contents in italic format third one that is the u tag that means you can say the underline tag and this u tag display the contents with underline that means the text which are placed in between opening u tag and closing u tag will be display with the underline effect okay that is the u tag another one that is the s tag s tag you can also say that the strike tag this strike tag or s tag are display the contents with this one like the strike through effect strike through effect okay another one that is the big tag this big tag as per its name display the contents which are placed in between opening big tag and closing big, big tag is displayed one point larger than the surrounding text or than the default text remember that surrounding text or default text is depend on the browser okay so this contains that this tag display the contents one point larger okay same process there is another one that is the small tag this small tag like this big tag display the contents one point smaller than the surrounding text or the default text that surrounding text or default text here also depends on the browser and their versions another one that is the subscript subscript tag that is the sub tag we can say the sub tag when you want to display the contents in a lowered form that is the h2o in chemistry that written the h2 that 2 is always placed at the base of the h so to display the contents like that 2 in a lowered form you need to use this sub tag here also i um, keep the subscript text within the opening sub and closing sub tag and it will be displayed like this one okay so this one is the subscript tag another tag that is the sub tag we can say that is superscript tag superscript tag the superscript tag display the contents in a raised form that is the x square plus 2x plus 3 that that the that the raised form display the contents in a raised form like this one here also i place superscript word in between sub opening and sub closing tag and that superscript word is displayed you know like this superscript contents so these are the basic some advanced text formatting effects tags are also available which are uh, already available for uh, with html 5.0 these there are three some advanced text formatting effect tag first one that is the ins tag we can say insert tag this insert tag is display the contents like this one that the with the underline effect this underline effect text is display with underline but this underline is bold is bold as compared to normal u tag output remember and when our documents is read or edited by any other uh, viewer or any other person at that time when he want to suggest uh, uh, here you need to insert this one that time that means while track changing the newly inserted text will be displayed with the bold underline effect okay that is the insert pick like this there is another one that is the delete delete tag del tag while track changing that means while editing the text by any other person when he or she wants to uh, delete some line delete some word at that time she can or he can delete the text and enter a new text that inserted inserted new text will be displayed like this one that the with the underline effect but when he want to delete some data and when he delete data at that time the deleted text will be displayed like the 
strike through effect okay that means the text which deleted by the viewer by the editor that time the text will not removed permanently there but instead of that that text will display with a strike through effect and third one the advanced text formatting effects provided with html5 available with html5 is that is the mark we can mark the important part of any web page or any text any word that means it display the text with a highlight effect here see this is the highlight effect so when you want to dis focus on a specific word or sentence at that time you can apply this opening mark and closing mark tag so remember that the all text formatting elements these are the add ons as well as the previous in bold italic underline subscript supersede big small these all tags are a text formatting elements or text formatting effect tag and all these text formatting elements or tags are paired tag and their closing are compulsory so this is the first video of our html in the other video in the second video we'll discuss the remaining tags other formatting effect tags as well as tables in html forms in html images in html image mapping in html one by one sequentially we will complete all html perfectly and i hope you will understand and you will continue all this um, my video series and learn html with me thank you thank you